As many of you wonderful wizards know, Pumpkin Fest had dropped into Prodigy a few days ago. It is currently the 9th, and well, Pumpkin Fest dropped in on the 3rd. That means that it's officially been 6 days since Pumpkin Fest was dropped into Prodigy. And as you guys can see, I now have completed stage 4 and gotten myself a Magno. Right, so basically I'm going to show you the process through which I basically got myself the Curly Horns, the Crow, and the Magno. And on top of that, show you guys the effects and stuff which these things are capable of doing, right? Yeah, so let's start off with our achievements on unlocking the Curly Horns. Here we go! First of all, let's look at our shop and see if we can buy anything. You know, nothing here, okay? No, no, nothing. Nope. Nah. Nope. Nothing. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, dighty, Aphrodite. It seems like we've actually managed to get ourselves on three of four battles which are needed to unlock this. I believe we need four. But yeah, oh yeah, we do need four of these battles. And as you guys can see over here, I'm at three. Yes, you guys can see I'm at three battles needed to unlock these curly horns. So let's go and obliterate this cloud caller. I believe that's what it is. Isn't it a cloud caller? I do believe it's a caller that clouds wear. Yes, it is a cloud caller. Uh, you know, it's quite interesting that clouds wear collars. Uh, what do you call it? Ice type? No, wait, we could have used Articlaw or no, Arcturus. We could have used Arcturus to delete these guys and send them to. Oh! Oh! I clicked the all out attack? I thought I used an epic attack or something. Like, what? How did these guys get insta deleted? But, anyways, as you guys can see, Puck over here has gained some double stars, which is quite nice, if you guys ask me. He has gained some member stars, and as you guys can see over here, let's open that chest, and we still get ourselves nothing... Uh, what do you call it? Nothing too spectacular, although we did get ourselves what I'd assume is a Dumbledore robe, because that's what it's gonna say. Anyways, over here, as you can see, four out of four battles complete, and now we've got ourselves some candy horns and some candy corn. And just like that, we get ourselves candy corn and some candy horns. That is quite nice. Now, without further ado, let's go and look at some of these candy horns, their items, and what they can and can't do, and how good they are. Right, so let's hop to the side. Oh, okay. Darn it. Darn it, darn, darn, darn. But no, but no worries. I did escape that battle alive. But no worries. But no worries, everyone. I did escape that battle completely intact. And now what we shall do is we shall open up our inventory and go and see what these horns can do. Because I did collect them. Now let's see what they can do. Curly horns. It says, you will look like a monster when wearing these large and powerful horns. Wizards might try to capture you, so watch out. You know, I don't think anyone would be enough of a dum-dum to try capturing them unless the demons exist in Prodigy or like... Demi monsters or something like that? I don't know. What would this even be considered as? I don't think anyone can be delusional enough to try to capture this guy. Like, if I see a wizard with horns wearing like these legendary class armor with legendary class boots and a what do you call it light ring along with a crow pet. I'm not going anywhere near that dude, okay? Who in their right mind is gonna go near this and be like, you know what, let's try capturing them. Nothing can go wrong. Ah, I'm being attacked by a level 100 spell or something like that, you know? Anyways, it has a 6 heart bonus, meaning this item is also useless. If you want the, for the collectibles, you can, but I'd recommend getting a level 8 item at minimum. I mean, look at this. Sure, you can get it for free compared to some of the other items given to you by the arena, but there are a lot of other stuff that you can just get easily. Like, even the hero mask you can get without having to do anything. You just have to do some arena battles. That's really it. Right now, let's go on to the next task of getting ourselves this crow. But anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you did, please do make sure to obliterate that subscribe button. Give this video a humongous thumbs up. Thank you for watching and bye. As I had predicted yesterday, it seems like Prodigy did release a Halloween-themed festival named Pumpkin Fest a day right after I said that. So yeah, my prediction skills are pretty accurate. And as you guys can tell from this, Pumpkin Fest has been dropped in game by Prodigy. And it says it's from October 3rd to November 1st, right? You guys can see it basically ends on the 1st of the next month and starts on the 3rd of this month. Meaning you have yourselves a total of 29 days to complete it, I think. Yeah, you have 29 days to complete everything over here. Right, and now as you guys can see, if you open up Wizard Watch, boom, in the center, we still have ourselves solar, meaning you have to scroll down to see what's up. 
Now if you look at the banner, obviously it looks like some new things are there. We got the old fireworks, we got a new type of horn helmet, we got what looks to be a decapitated crow, and what seems to be a magnet with magnet hands. And basically, and basically it says, complete battles and trade in candy corn to earn limited time events. Uh, limited, what am I saying? It says, basically says, complete battles and trade in candy corn to earn limited time rewards. And as you guys can see, the person's like, Look at these new rewards, don't they look amazing, don't you want them? And anyways, what you guys can do is you basically tap on the center button over here with the pumpkin on it and dark grey area background. Basically tap on the pumpkin with stars on the black background on it and you guys can see it basically tells you about pumpkin fest rewards. Right, and you guys can see if you remember you get 10 ca you get ten candy corn for every stage you complete. And there are three stages, well technically four stages to complete in order to get all the items. The first stage you have to do is two battles in order to get yourself two bats works and 10 candy corn. In the second stage it seems like you have to do four battles to get yourself some curly horns. In the Okay, and in the second stage you have to do six battles to get yourself a crow and 10 candy corn. And in the last and final stage you have to do eight battles to get yourself a magnum. Basically, this this pet is kind of interesting. It basically goes from normal magnet to circular magnet. That's all I'm saying. That's basically what happens to this dude. And in total, if you're wondering how many battles we'll need to do in order to get ourselves the last pit over here, the magnum, we'll need to do 20 battles, right? That's all you need to do to get this, but if you're going for the helmet, you only need to do 6 battles. If you're going for the crow, you only need to do 12, and if you're going for the last one, well, you need to do 8. And if you don't want any of them, well, then you don't have to do any battles. Anyways, over here it says, visit Lamp Light Town, trade in your candy for Pumpkin Fest exclusive items. It says, do battles and earn candy corn and unlock new pumpkin fest rewards. And you know, if you even did one battle every day, you'd still unlock all of the items. That's how... I mean, sure, you'd be clipping it close to the end of the season, but you'd still get every single item. Every single item. And over here, it even gives you the quest. It says, one day, find the unlit jack-o'-lantern in Lamplight Town. And chase away the trickster who blew it out. Who blew it out to earn a bunch of candy corn. Anyways, what they did is they basically removed the button to teleport us straight to Lamplight Town where the festival is taking. So then what you have to do is you have to do the mundane task of opening your map and clicking on Lamplight Town and teleporting over there. And as you guys can see, once we teleport in, we get hit with that Lamplight Town music. And as you guys can see, boom shakalaka, we're hit with that Lamplight Town music. And not only that, but it seems like there's a giant monster standing in the middle of the road, which is known as Gyreform. And you guys can see, we teleport in over here, and there already seems to be a pumpkin standing over there. First, before we murder that pumpkin, or wait, no. First, before we trace, chase away the prankster who has, what do you call it, blow out the candle in the pumpkin, we shall go to Kindy Corn and see what new items have appeared in the shop, right? You can see we basically click on her, and then it says, hello, welcome, and then here's the shop. Anyways, let's start off from the furniture section, there's nothing new. If you go over here, it seems like they added the mummy puppy, which I still haven't gotten in, and it's non-member. Okay, that's interesting. And, of course, the spider 465, what do you call it? Candy corn. Candy corn, yes. And then, other than that, the wands tab seems to have no new additions. It's the same as last year, same with outfits. Along with the hats tab, so the only thing which you can buy, actually, is items or furniture and buddies if you don't have them all. But counting this, this will only take you approximately, what do you call it, it's 13 days to collect all of this? Wait, no, 14, 14 days. It'll take you basically 14 days to collect all of the items from there. Now let's take a look at the wheels and see what rewards we can get from it. And as expected, nothing good from this one. Let's check the nighttime wheel. Let's check what's up on the nighttime wheel. Oh, it seems like we can still get ourselves the sparkly puppy prizes. Okay, you know, these prizes are literally impossible to win from the arena, so I guess this is one of the only places from where you can actually win it. Now, what are the... You know, Prodigy never disclosed what the odds of winning, what do you call it, the sparkly puppy in this is. Right, they never told us, and watch just not land on it now, okay? It's not gonna land on the sparkly puppy. You know, it seems like they actually removed the pumpkin fest um, candy corn from the wheel, so you can't get yourself, like, an instant 20 candy corn in an instant. It's like, nah... Dude, take the honest method and do like 20 battles to get it. Or you could do 7 battles. It depends on how many monsters you're facing off against. But anyways, it seems like we ended up with some more shiver chillings and we have literally nothing to spend them on. I mean, my shop is maxed out and everything. My pet book. Ooh, okay, yeah. That seems to be something. Anyways, you guys can see all of Pumpkin Fest has spread into Lamplight Town and the decorations are up. Now let's go and battle that pumpkin quickly. 
Wow, pumpkin battle. Now, I wonder what type of monsters will be appearing here. Although, to be honest, I'd expect them to be the same old monsters which you see. Basically, by same old monsters, I mean any generic monster which you can imagine is available in Prodigy. That's what I mean. And we got ourselves 10 candy corns over there and some gold. Now we're at approximately 22? Okay, 24. We're at 24 candy corn, meaning we can buy ourselves officially 10 of these shade spectral. Oh, it's called spectral. They changed it. Okay, shade might be the lower evolution. Anyways, we can get ourselves 10 of these spectral, um, spectral morph marbles, which is something, I guess. Or we could get ourselves one, just one comfy spider. You know, it's kind of crazy that everything over here is so overpriced. But anyways, I guess we have ourselves... I guess that's going to be it for this video. As you guys can see, Pumpkin Fest has dropped into Prodigy. And that's basically all. Oh yeah, fun fact. Did you guys know that the dragon who's hidden up over here on the top left-hand side... Wait, wait, wait. Did they change something with the arena to make it look spooky? Nah. You know, for a second I thought they added eyes behind the showcase and it was like... Ooh, the arena is partaking in the spookiness, but no. Right, so if you go to the side over here, what you guys will see is that there's a certain dragon whose eyes have probably turned orange. And these dragon's eyes change every festival that comes along. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found it somewhat interesting and saw Pumpkin Fest is here. Yay! But yeah, that's all for this video. Please do make sure to demolish that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and bye. Right, and you guys can see if you remember, you get ten you get ten candy corn for every stage you complete. Yeah, as you guys can see, Pumpkin Fest has dropped into Prodigy, and that's basically all. Oh yeah, fun fact: Did you guys know that the dragon who's hidden up over here on the top? left hand side wait 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 did they change something with the arena to make it look spooky nah you know for a second i thought they added eyes behind the showcase and it was like oh the arena is partaking in the spookiness but no right so if you go to the side over here what you guys will see is that there's a certain dragon whose eyes have probably turned orange and these dragons pumpkin fest is here yay but yeah, that's all for this video. Please do make sure to demolish that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and bye!